Transgender athletes have been competing in sports for thousands of years, but only in recent years have they been given a fair chance and a spotlight to shine. Now, the challenges that trans players face for simply being who they are haven't diminished in any way, but that hasn't stopped these incredible people from reaching new heights and setting golden standards for everybody. Here are the top 10 transgender athletes to watch. First up, Timothy LaDuc. LaDuc became the first openly non-binary person to compete at the Winter Olympics earlier this year. They finished eighth in Paris figure skating with their partner, Ashley Kane Gribble. And this isn't their first first either. A couple of years ago, they became the first openly queer person to win gold in pair skating at the US Championship. We couldn't be prouder of them. Also, LaDuke and Kane Gribble have won two US Championships and medaled three times in the Grand Prix series. The 32-year-old player has spoken about resisting the cis normativity and heteronormativity that can historically be found and expected in pair skating. And they've countered that by not portraying a romantic couple in their figure skating routines. Next, Laurel Hubbard. The New Zealander made her Olympic debut in weightlifting at the 2020 Summer Olympics. Hubbard was the first openly transgender woman to compete at the Olympics and the openly trans player to compete at an individual event in the Summer Olympics. She's one for the history books. As expected, her inclusion in the women's group caused quite a lot of controversy and forced her into the spotlight. It's really unfair that these athletes have to deal with all of this just because of their gender identity. In the end, she didn't get a spot on the podium, and her official result showed that she did not finish after Hubbard couldn't compete a clean list in the snatch section of the event. But her weightlifting career has long been extraordinary. Before her transition, she set a men's national junior record, but she left the sport when she was in her 20s as it became too much to bear, and she wanted to figure out her identity. She made a comeback 15 years after that and returned to set a women's Oceania record at the 2017 North Island Games, then a gold at the Australian Championships, and then a silver at the World Championships. Did you know that her career almost ended after a ruptured ligament in her arm a few years ago? But she came back and stunned the world at the 2019 Pacific Games, where she won two gold medals. She lifted again at the 2020 Summer Olympics at the age of 43. She was 10 years older than the second oldest competitor in her group. What an incredible woman. Moving on, Chris Moisier. Moisier became the first transgender athlete to represent the United States in an international competition after he earned a spot in the men's sprint duathlon seven years ago. He began competing in triathlon as a woman, but came out as trans in 2010. He's a Hall of Fame triathlete, All-American duathlete, athlete and two-time national champion. He's also made Team USA six times. Also, the American is a strong advocate for trans athletes. He's credited with promoting the International Olympic Committee to change its policies to be more inclusive of trans players, leaving no restrictions for trans men to compete with other men and dropping the requirement which asked trans women to undergo genital surgery. The 42-year-old runs the website transathlete.com, where he aims to give information about competing in sports as a trans person. He also regularly works with LGBTQ plus sports leagues to enhance trans representation. Up next, Skylar Baylor. Baylor was the first openly trans NCAA Division I athlete to compete on a men's team. He swam for the mighty Harvard men's team for four seasons before graduating in 2019. And his final swim found him in the top 15% of NCAA competitors in his event. Now, the 26-year-old had a pretty impressive career before college too, as he competed in the Junior Olympics when he was just 10 years old. In fact, he was ranked in the top 20 for 15-year-old breaststroke swimmers in the U.S. Baylor is an international speaker and advocate who regularly posts on social media about body image, racism, and of course, trans inclusion in sports events. All super important conversations. We're super proud of him. Here's hoping that he finds a lot more success at the top. Next on our list, Chelsea Wolf. Wolf, a trans woman, is a top three BMX freestyler in the United States. She earned a spot as an alternate for the women's competition at the 2020 Summer Olympics, the first time the spot was included in the Olympic Games. Now, the American didn't get the chance to compete at the event, but she became the first trans person to make Team USA. The following year, the 28-year-old placed fifth at the World Championships in 2021. We just know that there are great things ahead for the superstar. Coming up, Alana Smith. Smith competed in the inaugural Women's Street Skateboarding event at the 2020 Summer Olympics. They came out as non-binary shortly before the Games as they wanted to enter the competition as their full, authentic selves. They also competed in four World Championships and won the bronze in 2015. Now, Smith has been a big name in the sport since they were just 12 years old after they won silver at the 2013 X Games, almost like they were born to be part of history. Lashia Clarendon Clarendon is the first openly trans and non-binary player to compete in the WNBA. They're a guard for the Minnesota Lynx, who uses all pronouns. In 2018, they won a gold medal at the FIBA World Cup. In 2021, they were awarded the WNBA Community Assist Award for their advocacy work for black and brown youths and the LGBTQ community. Clarendon has also played for the University of California, Berkeley she finished
finished her college career as the fourth highest scorer in Cal's history. She earned 1,820 points in four seasons. Moving on, Kai Alums. Alums became the first openly trans person to compete in an NCAA Division I sport. He came out as a trans man while playing for George Washington University women's team in 2010. The 32-year-old played as a guard for a total of three seasons, ending his college basketball career over 10 years ago after a series of concussions. In 2015, he was inducted into the National Gay and Lesbian Sports Hall of Fame. Alums is a public speaker and a mentor to queer youth, and he was even featured in The T-Word, which is a documentary about living as a young trans person by Laverne Cox. He's a total icon in every way. Up next, Quinn. Quinn is a non-binary trans athlete who plays for the Canadian women's national football team. After coming out two years ago, they continued to play on the women's team as per the assigned at birth rather than their gender identity. They were a crucial part of the team that won gold at the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. With that win, they also became the first trans non-binary player to become an Olympic champion. After their inclusion in the team for the Olympics, Quinn posted on Instagram that they didn't know how to feel. They felt proud seeing their name on that lineup, but they also felt sad knowing that there were many before them who were unable to live their truth because of the world. But they wrote that they felt optimistic about change in the legislature, rules, structures, and mindsets. And that the fight wasn't close to over, and they'll celebrate when everybody was there. Finally, Leah Thomas. Thomas, a trans woman and NCAA Division I freestyle swimmer, is a senior at the University of Pennsylvania, and she holds the fastest women's times of the 2022 season in the 200 and 500 yard freestyle events. Earlier this year, in March, she competed at the NCAA championships in these events, as well as the 1650 yard event. Talk about range. The 23 year old swam for the men's team before coming out and getting approved by the NCAA to compete in the women's category in the summer of 2020. Now, the following season was canceled because of COVID-19, of course, so this season was actually her first time competing against women. Thomas has always been exceptional at swimming, but she recently came under time, which also promoted the NCAA to change its rules about trans women's eligibility in sports. So, 16 members of the Penn team wrote to the NCAA stating that it was unfair to let her compete as a woman, but over 300 current and former swimmers and divers recently signed a letter of support for Thomas. At the NCAA championships, she won the 500-yard freestyle event, which made her the first out trans woman to win the event. Oh, and she finished fifth in the 200-yard finals and eighth in the 100-yard event. We see great things for her in the future, and we can't wait to see her journey. And that's a wrap for this video. Which one of these incredible athletes is your favorite to watch? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.